Hello, my name is David Jones. I've raced all my life. I'm a qualified national youth coach. I sail RS400s and I've raced them uh, in the UK as well as uh, most parts of the world. And today I want to explain the use of the Watt Tack. As racers, we all know the importance of a good start. And often we're trying to decide on the start line which is the favoured or biased end of the start line, that end that's closest, a bit closer to the wind than the other end. Let me show you. We're waiting around here for our warning gun from the committee boats, so we're waiting for the start to, to happen. If there's not much bias in the line, so what I mean by bias is one end is closer to the wind than the other, the, the line bias is very hard to see just by looking from your boat at the line. That's where the Watt Tap can help us. So I'm now going to explain how to establish the line bias using our Watt Tap. First thing we need to do is we need to find out the wind direction bearing. A couple of ways I've drawn on the board here how to do that. First one is I've positioned our boat head to wind with both sails flapping in the middle. When I'm, when I'm comfortable that the boat's pointing straight into the wind, I'm going to read off my compass and I can see that my compass in this instance is showing me 200 degrees. The other way you can do it is you can sail up to the committee boat and the race officer often writes down that wind bearing on his blackboard and, and positions it on the guardrail somewhere so you can pick it up that way. So we've established that the wind direction bearing is 200 degrees so I'm simply going to dial 200 degrees with my rotating dial here simply clicking away and I've got 200, 200 now lined up on the middle line of the Watt Tack. So once that's lined up I'm then going to just simply turn the pointer as well to 200 degrees. So 200 and the pointer are in a perfect straight line up and down. So we've done that, there's just one more stage. The next stage is just to establish the bearing of our start line. So we've got the committee boat here and the pin end here. So in this diagram I'm sailing along and I'm lining the committee boat up with a pin end. And I can see depending on which which end of the the start line we're sailing from, our compass is reading it'll read 130 or 310 from this diagram. The other way you can establish the, the bearing of the start line is just to sail between the two points of the committee boat and the pin end. And when you come to what you're sailing dead, dead along the line, you can then read off your compass again. Depending on which way you're sailing, you'll read these two figures. So from establishing the line bearing, I'm then going to look at 130, for instance, on my Watt Tack. And I can see that 130 here falls into the port end segment of my Watt Tack. So port end to me now means it's port end bias, port end favoured. That end is closer to the wind than the other end. Now, the, uh, establish, now that we've established um, the bias of the line, please see our three other videos, uh, one of Olympic and trapezoid courses, one of windward lured courses, and the other of sail combinations for keelboats, using the Watt Tack for each, each video. Thank you for watching.